The Mount Mercy men's volleyball program is in its sixth season. The sport continues to grow overall at the college and high school levels. Currently, more than 200 colleges across the U.S. have sanctioned men's volleyball. At Mount Mercy, the players are amazed and excited about the growth of their program. When I first got here, we had a couple Bulgarians that were that were amazing. Like uh, people in the NAIA, there's a lot of a lot of people from the United States and a lot of good players. But when you get those six, eight, like people from Europe and from South America, they they tend to dominate in the NAIA, and it's really fun watching those players and getting to see how they grew up and getting to see how they learn the sport of volleyball and they can teach you a lot of things and that's I learned a lot from them. And Mount Mercy has a roster of players filled with many different backgrounds. There are five players from the state of Iowa which doesn't have sanctioned high school boys volleyball. The only route they're able to go to is the club route and some didn't even imagine volleyball would be possible at the next level. When I was a sophomore I was playing basketball and my school announced that they're starting a club team in the Cedar Rapids area so it was based out of my high school at Prairie and the first year I think we had three other teams in the whole state of Iowa that we would play every weekend. It wasn't really a thing that I thought could happen like right away and it, was, it wasn't until my senior year where a couple college coaches just started talking to me and yeah then that got me excited about it. I was planning on just going to Iowa getting a four-year degree uh, hanging out with friends there but yeah volleyball became an option and I'm glad I'm glad it was. I always watched my parents when I was younger play a little bit but it was one of those things I saw something on Facebook about a club starting up in Iowa and I just thought I'd give it a shot and then uh, the Jefferson community welcomed me with open arms and I got to manage the girls team for a couple of years. At first I thought it was kind of for fun and then I realized you know this is a lot more fun and I saw a lot more opportunities out there that I could continue playing whether that be uh, on the sand or in grass or out here at, at the university level so it was just one of those things that it grew on me and became part of my life. As for the other players, they came from states that do have sanctioned high school boys volleyball, Illinois, Missouri, Wisconsin and Texas. The team does have a couple of international players from Brazil, which doesn't have high school volleyball, but the clubs they play in are very elite with some of their teammates playing for the Brazilian national team. Where I'm from, Guilford High School, they, I think they started right before my freshman year. Um, and at the time, um, it was a, getting pretty popular. Um, and I only got really got into it just because like basketball wasn't really working out. I had a lot of friends that played volleyball and they were all just like, hey, just come try it. And I tried it and I loved it. Like straight off the rip, I wasn't good at all. Um, I had to learn, I had to teach myself things, but it was just the transition to try something new. My club in Brazil was like so big. Me and Lucas, I play, I usually play with Lucas. So we played together for since 15 years old until 20. So like, on my experience, like until 20 years old, I was like really close to the, a professional team on my club. So I have like some connections with like some players right now that play on the national team. With all the different backgrounds on this team, or whether they played high school volleyball or not, the Mustangs still found a way to learn from each other. It's kind of funny, they're like, you guys don't have it here. And just seeing an Iowa kid actually play is very eye-opening to them. Um, I would say I learned a lot just about, you know, whether that play defense or what the game means to them and how big it actually is a part of those states compared to Iowa. A lot of it is just communication. I feel like they, like when I first came here, I was, you know, I was quiet and I was just, you know, playing the sport, trying to have a good time. And I, I didn't necessarily take it too seriously. And when these guys, they grew up playing volleyball and they played within their high school, on their high school teams and it was like a serious deal. And they, I came here and they're all talking super loud. They're all covering balls they're all you know moving all around the court really fast and you know it just it kind of gave me like a shock almost and uh, I learned a lot from all the, all the players that I played with in the past. And the Mustangs put together the best season so far in its short period of existence. They finished the season with a program record 23 wins and had nine losses. In the final month of the season they defeated four ranked teams including one that was in the top three and while the season is over 
the word is starting to spread around campus about how good this team really is. It's big because I always wanted to be a part of something like that and being a part of something like this, even if I can't contribute on the court, I can, I'm here in practice grinding against these guys and they can, they go and do it on the court for us. I think if we get more and more people in the state of Iowa to see what the game is and like really come out to these games and like just see like, okay, this is exciting. Like this is almost on the level of basketball.